Hey, what's going on? I'm A-Dub from DX Daily Podcast, and check this out. So Kanye West called Future the most influential artist of the past 10 years during his explosive interview with Drink Champs last year. I think the most influential artist actually of the past 10 years is Future. It's an honor Pluto doesn't take lightly as he also went on to executive produce Yeezy's Donda 2 album. Gracing the cover of the May 2022 issue of GQ, Future reflected on his relationship with Kanye West, which began when Ye flew Hendrix out to Paris to work on music about a decade ago. Me and Kanye always had a relationship, but it's hard for people to understand because I don't put everything on Instagram. Kanye flew me to Paris in 2011 or 2012 to work on music, discussing his clothing line before it came, his shoe business before it came. People don't know I've been able to go to his house, pull up right to the crib. We just never talked about it. Future later revealed that Kanye enlisted him to write on certain albums that he never even got credit for. When he said that, I understood why he called me to Paris, even though I didn't understand it at that time. I understood why we had certain conversations. I understood him being a part of I Won, even him having me write on certain Kanye albums that people don't even understand I wrote on. Future and Ye connected for I Won off the Atlanta Rappers 2014 album Honest, where they both dedicated their allegiances to their then partners, Sierra and Kim Kardashian, respectfully. Prior to Donda 2, the only Kanye West song Future is officially credited with co-writing is The Life of Pablo's Facts, due to Ye having Future and Drake's Jumpman on the chorus. However, Hendrix doesn't seem upset by the lack of credit for his other alleged writing contributions. Sometimes not getting credit when you write with him because the love of the art is, I want it to be right. Top tier, just being able to create and put those textures over different music and being involved with something like that. And then later down the line, in a priceless moment, him saying what he said on Drink Champs, the value of that statement, the value of the relationship as it continues to grow, the value of just treating people like they are priceless, instead of treating people like they got a dollar sign on them every time. The collaboration drought Future and Kanye West is set to end later this month when they will reunite on the Atlanta Native's upcoming album dropping April 29th. So what do you think about what Future had to say about Kanye West and his latest issue with GQ? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.